All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Terrell. Right now, we about to hop into this Anita grip. Let's hop straight into it. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. She said this little, she said this little husband uh, got grip. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know she, that's Loki a double entendre because she's talking about, you know, a woman's thank you down there. But also, I just did some research like a few days ago. That's a cologne, a Brazilian cologne, if I'm not mistaken. Fragrance cologne. So that's, that's a double entendre right there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this right here, this right here, I'm sure is on the album that I'm about to react to. But this is also a little bit different. This is a little bit different. From what I've heard, it, it sounds a little bit different. I like it, though. But I'm just saying, like, I like the fact that I'm starting to hear more, like, different, like, styles when it comes, styles when it comes to her music. Like, this comes off as a sort of, like, you know, type of funky kind of pop type of sound, if, if that makes sense. She said I could make your face chairs and sit, sit. Oh, she trying, she trying to say she gonna sit on your face, my guy. I wonder what made her go with the black and white theme. Like, you see how the, it, like, it's grayed out. I, I, I don't say grayed, but it gives you, like, that black and white, like, type of theme to the song, to the, uh, to the music video. I wonder what made her go with that. Right, so I'm I'm gonna take this as a little sample. This was a, like a little preview going into the album, probably, cause that that's that's how I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it. But I do think this song, trying to look beyond like it being sexual, you could also look at it as like self assurance and like the power of like feminine allure, if that makes sense. Like if we're going based off the lyrics, I feel like she definitely delivered on the the mix between like the Spanish and the English language. You know, and she kind of reflects on like the confidence and like the control that she has on like her own sexuality and I guess like the effect that it has on others as well. So, but yeah, we about to check out the album. We about to check out the album. And and the phrase where she was like, uh, this little, this little, she got grip. You know, I don't want to say the word, but you know what I mean? Cause YouTube, they be ODing. So, but when she was like, this little guy grip, I kind of feel like, but we already know what she meant by that. But if we trying to look beyond like it being sexual, I feel like that's a bold um a bold um assertion if that makes sense that's uh, that's if i said it right i hate saying that word with a passion like she's she asserts like her boldness of like you know like her sexual prowess and like autonomy if i want to say i mean if that makes sense but without further ado i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this reaction like subscribe turn on your bell notification so you notify matter of fact a better way of saying that I feel like for her, she has the ability to basically captivate anyone, whether it's physical or metaphorical. 
So I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out.